it was awesome. It was unbelievable. You know, there's so many adjectives to, to, to describe what Ross Chastain. I, that was probably one of the top three biggest moments in our sport since NASCAR was created in 1948, 1949. I think that ranks up there with the 1979 Daytona 500 duel at the end with David Pearson and Richard Petty. I, I just, it, it, I mean, it, it, that, that move that Ross Chastain made to make the chase in 2022 will be talked about 50 years from now. It was, uh, it was just insanely crazy. Uh, uh, but man, un unbelievable. Well, you know, you know, I know we all saw it and you, it's so, it, you, you just, it, it, we all saw it. It didn't even look real. You know what I mean? But, uh, but man, just brilliant on his part. I think it's awesome. I've seen, um, uh, I seen recently uh, 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 Kyle Larson try it at Darlington. I don't know if it was two years ago or this past year. He was having a duel with Denny Hamlin right at the end of the race. I seen him kind of try that move and uh, unsuccessfully. And I saw Carl Edwards do it years ago at Kansas Speedway. Unfortunately, uh, you know, the way he hit the wall, uh, you know, there was too much damage to the car, but he tried to – go wide open and just ride the wall. But, man, Ross Chastain perfected it. I can't imagine, you know, racing all those years and having to win at Martinsville. Uh, I can't imagine going down the back straightaway and shifting into a higher gear and just letting you, taking your hands off the steering wheel and just saying, damn it, I'm going for it, and just floor it and, and riding the wall uh, to turns three and four and being – uh, being two seconds quicker on that lap, the, you gain two seconds in one corner is just unheard of. But, man, I love what Trackhouse and Ross Chastain have done in 2022. Uh, it was a Hail Mary, and it worked. Uh, the whole world is talking about it. It was on Good Morning America. It was on Sunday Night Football. Uh, I just – I'm happy for their team. I'm excited for our sport. And guys, you know that we got a lot of new eyes that are looking into NASCAR and looking what, what's going on in our cool sport of NASCAR auto racing. So I just think, I think everything about it was pretty awesome. <laughs> and Tyler, I got to tell you too, man, being from a state that really doesn't have motorsports, we're, we're not breeding grounds for NASCAR any stretch of the imagination. But the last few days of this early part of the week, Tyler, so many people have been talking about it. So many people have been asking me about it, like, whoa, Tell me about that. What what happened in that race? And people that would otherwise not be watching NASCAR here in the land of enchantment are talking about it. Yeah, I mean, it's taken the internet by storm, uh, this. And, and when I saw it the first time, because I was actually uh, doing, you know, NFL coverage uh, when it happened. I didn't see it live. And uh, a buddy of ours, Matt Jennings, sends it to me. And I looked at that. I'm like, what is this? I mean, it, it was like, huh, is this even real? And everyone's sharing it. Just, I mean, just all over the place, this, this thing. And, you know, Dominic, you mentioned the video game thing. You and I, you know, we've been playing racing games our whole life. That's always been the, the cheat, right? You know, like, ah, you know, we'll just tear up the car, ride the top, and go as fast as we can and, you know, win the race that way. And, and then to see it actually happen in real life, I mean, that was unbelievable. I mean, Ross Chastain, you know, it has been the year of Ross Chastain, right? You know, mm -hmm. he has taken the NASCAR scene by storm for better or for worse. But I think it's been more good than bad. Some people might have a different answer, but I like Ross for the better personally. And to me, I know that there's still a week left in the season, but this could not be a more perfect ending for the season of Ross Chastain of – uh a perfect description for how much he's just kind of taken the NASCAR scene by storm this year, Dom. And I, I think you said it best there. And and I loved hearing back his interview saying about it. He wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. And then he brought up a great point too. And I'm glad nothing happened because it could have been a really bad situation. And I've never been to Martinsville. Tyler, I don't know if you have. I know, Dave, you've been there plenty of times. But that gate that opens, I believe, in turn four to allow 
the haulers in and out. Ross Chastain said he was scared about catching on there, if I remember correctly, and thankfully nothing happened with that, but that could have been very disastrous real quick too. But looking back on it, and Jeff Burton talking about it on the broadcast too, breaking it down, how it looks like the car is just moving in, in, in fast motion, but it's it's normal speed. It was just, I think, so much for the mind to comprehend. David, it was kind of like an optical illusion. It kind of was. You just can't believe what you're seeing, but it was so, – the car went through the corner so fast. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, you use a lot of braking. Uh, you know, most of us saw the race, uh, you know, and, you know, there at Martinsville, man, you're always fighting the center of the corner, get, trying to get your car to rotate, turn in the center, and, and especially as you're burning off the fuel and, you're, and, you're, and, you're, and your tires are wearing out. Uh, you know, and, and the guy that can get his car to cut the best, to turn the best, or rotate the best, I mean, you know, he's going to cut underneath you and, and, and really get a run underneath you off the corners. But, man, to, to see Ross Chastain go down the back straightaway, I can't imagine, you know, when you make that decision where, hey, I'm going down the back straightaway, and, you know, when you, it's about time to hit the brake, and you just – just hit the gas pedal harder and go wide open and shift into fifth gear and just go for it, man. It's it's uh it, it's just mind blowing, you know. Uh, uh, to think uh, that somebody would do that, try it, and it worked uh, as well as it worked. But man, it was uh, to pass five cars uh, in one corner at Martinsville. That's never been done before. You know what I mean? It has in a wreck. If somebody wrecks and, you know, you pass four or five cars, they're spinning out and wrecking or whatever. But in competition where everybody's racing their tails off and you just pass them on the outside five spots, uh, it's just, you know, it's it's hard to fathom that. But we saw it live on television. And, and I'm kind of like Tyler. I wasn't watching the race live. You know what I mean? I, I DVR, DVR'd it and was going to watch it later that night. And next thing you know, I had 20 phone calls, 20 missed phone calls. I'm like, man. So I finally called a person back. It's like, hey, what's up? What's up? They said, man, what's your thoughts? What do you think? What, 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 what that nuts? And I'm like, well, hey, time out here. You talking about the race? I said, yeah. I said, well, don't tell me. They said, oh, no, no, you got to go watch it right now. You know what I mean? You got to go watch it right now. But I really didn't see it until – late that night and uh you know you're you're thinking with three or four laps to go that you know somebody's going to spin out something crazy is going to happen and then like man what are they talking about here they are taking the white flag i ain't seen anything yet and then oh my god i mean it's just like like you said like you guys said it's just it's so it's so surreal you know it's it's almost looks fake you know but it's just uh to go that fast uh uh, compared to the others, uh, was just amazing, you know. And 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 I felt bad for my buddy Denny Hamlin, you know. I mean, I, I've been good friends with him for years, and and there's people that love him, love him. There's people that hate him, and uh, you know, to 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 come off turn two, coming to the checker flag, knowing that you're probably in the chase, you go into turn three, and and your and you know your team's telling you, hey, you're in the chase. And all of a sudden, you come off turn four, and you're spotted outside, outside, and, and it's Ross Chastain. I mean, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just – it's hard to comprehend that. And he was just like the, – the look on his face, he, he still, when they showed him on television uh, leaning up against his car, he was still in shock, you know. It was just hard to comprehend what had just happened, you know what I mean? And uh, and, and and the way it happened, you know, it's like how did this – how, how did – you know, how did this happen, you know? And and, uh, and I can only imagine <laughs> if I was racing behind Ross and seeing what he was doing, hell, I, I was like, man, I, there, there's no, I mean, I would have been like, wow, you know what I mean? It would have been incredible to, to be running behind him and see that. Uh, but man, uh, unbelievable. Like I said earlier, uh, I believe that's going to be probably one of the top, three or five biggest things that ever happened in our sports and our sports been existing since 1949, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. can you guys think of anything else 
that 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 has been that big that it's gotten so much notoriety it's just amazing uh what he accomplished how he accomplished it and 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 the visibility around the world and everybody that's seen it you know i mean when you show that on sunday night football and nfl games you know you break in and show what happened in the nascar race that day that's a pretty big deal you know and then you see it on good morning america the next day and all the sports talk shows are talking about it it's uh it's really put our sport in the spotlight and uh and whether Ross Ross Chastain wins a championship or finishes fourth or whatever, uh, Tyler, I, I I believe it has been the year of Ross Chastain. You know, I mean, whether you you like it or not, he's uh you know he's exciting. He's brought a lot of spice back into the sport, and uh, he's probably pissed off a lot of drivers along the way. But man, he's made it exciting and brought a lot of new eyes to it. That's for sure. Yeah. 